What's up, viewers? This is Cloudbuster100. Again, we are doing another walkthrough of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. I thank for all those who have been watching these videos. And if you do, hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. And if you got friends that are interested, share it up. Thank you and enjoy the video. Let's get started. Alright, we'll pick up where we left off. We were meeting up with uh, the fighter fighters to help take care of this building here of Chief Clark. Thanks for coming. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. Alrighty. Looks like we start off with the spider bot, which is really cool, since we actually saw that he has one carrying around on him. This is definitely going to be interesting now, since we're actually doing, instead of just Peter doing all the saving, we actually have the spider bot doing it. Now let's get him moving here. Oh my god, that's a rat. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Definitely with a first person perspective right there, that's definitely scary right there. But it looks like the spider bot's got the its own web slinging. Webs designed into it. Now and it comes with a blaster. That is awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. Believe it or not, actually, here's a fun fact, actually. In the Spider-Man comics of the Superior Spider-Man, when Otto took over Spider-Man's body, he actually designed Spider-Bots to travel around New York City to give him a heads-up on crime in that. But I don't think they were designed like this, though. So this is a definitely unique perspective of a new way of using them. And he's got a beacon. That's pretty cool. Let's see, we go through here. Yep. Hey Clark, you should be getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. Damn, that is one strong spider bot with the webs. That's crazy. <laughs> Looks like we got him out of there. Now we'll just place the beacon right there. Just gotta keep him safe. No, I guess we just better keep moving somehow. I wonder which way we gotta go here. Latest upgrade. Oh, jump jets! That's really cool. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. So now we have jump jets, which is not surprisingly uncommon for that, because. I remember a time Spider-Man tried to develop something similar to that. It was during one of his um, shows, I believe. Damn, that thing can even blast through concrete. That is... Wow. That is insane. But yeah, thank you all for watching these videos and hitting those likes buttons and actually putting your time to watch these videos. Well, there's also a lot of others that do this, and this gives me a good opportunity. Whoa. That can even pull out a person. That's crazy. That is crazy. I saw somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Okay. Looks like we got one more person left. This guy said someone else is still trapped in Really? Not missing anyone else. But if you can find them... But no, this story has been gone really interesting to show both sides of what each Spider-Man is doing to deal with the situation with Miles' college application and Peter trying to finally find the job he needed, which he now has working with Harry. Uh, but this is definitely an interesting thing to happen for 
now that Craven is at tracking and also hunting down our foes, even allies. So this will be a tough moment for Peter for sure. And it looks like we got some more people in here. That little spider bot's strong. That's crazy. Whatever he designed it with, it must have been strong materials and metal to be able to pull some of the stuff like the doors, a person, all that. Wait a minute. It's those guys that I fought a couple times. Those flame nut jobs. And looks like here. Oh no. I didn't say anything to the police. Never never even mentioned the flame. I just I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. Alright, let's take these guys down. Looks like these are some kind of flame cult fanatics of some kind. Never seen them before. <laughs> Everything burns. What else is new? I'm actually glad I got the concussion device now because it actually the concussion burst because it actually scatters them even more away. Yes, with the legs I can do that, but sometimes you want to save that for a situation where that you're overwhelmed and you need to get them away even more. But my, like I said, the combat system is still as good as ever, honestly. Man, these guys have no fear of anything. But then again, when it comes to a cult, for what I've seen in a lot of cults, from games and shows, they don't care about their lives just for the cause. Now, I'm not very familiar because uh, I don't think there was any... This might be an original kind of faux thing for the Marvel Spider-Man game of Insomniac because I don't remember in the comics or show of a flame-related cult. So, I wonder what who the leader is. What the? Wait a minute. Who's that? Gold chain. Some kind of s Kusanagi. Thanks. So what's your deal? Oh. There you are. Wraith. <laughs> I knew it. Yep. Yuri. Well, life's call me Wraith. It's pretty well, I think. I tried. Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. Yep. That's. Well, that was an introduction of Wraith, a.k.a. Yuri Wananam, eh? from uh, the Captain of the Police. As you know, in the last game in the DLC, she tried to kill, uh, she almost killed Hammerhead. And she turned into re resignation as a captain, and then apparently she uh, 
killed somebody in the DLC when you try to track her down. As you saw, she was using, like, crime tapes and that. Which is a fun fact in the of her character. She was still a captain when she was a wraith for a while. She kept it as a secret, and she used a special uh, smoke gas that would cause confusion with the peop enemies. And she would use these special yellow tape-like con uh, weapons that she could bind them with. However, there was an incident in one of the comics where she actually went too far. And because of it, she no longer is a captain of the police. And now she is Wraith. Uh, not much is shown. No much was shown what happened to her after that. She barely had any screen time anymore. I think almost pretty much Marvel forgot about her. But I'm actually glad Insomniac brought her into this story. As in the first game, she was a great ally of Spider-Man and a friend. And then in the DLC, still trying to be a friend but struggling with dealing with Hammerhead. And then now becoming a vigilante. It's definitely interesting her costume is different now. Instead of like a full body suit and a full mask, like a mask that covers the whole head, it's just a simple purple jacket and a face mask uh, that covers the whole face and also comes with a, a some kind of like sickle-like chain weapon. I'm not sure the name of it. If anyone knows the name of it, put that in the comment section. I'd be much appreciated. But it's definitely going to be a, a unique thing, especially with this flame cult that's going around. Not sure what that one's all about. Like I said, I'm not very familiar with a arc where they introduce something like that. But anyways, we're going to do this mission here with uh, the Emily May Foundation. I'm actually kind of glad they did something like this for Harry and Peter to do something together again. To do a noble cause to help save the earth and that from like how it was in the first game we did all those rare uh, special labs that Harry left behind. Well, it looks like we'll be using our web wings for this experiment. So let's see how this goes. We'll have to probably use this wind to. Yep. We use this wind wind to get up with some momentum up and try to get up uh, to reach that meter to deploy those drones. Yep, let's deploy these turbines here. Try to keep it up with the momentum here. Uh-oh. Looks like I went a little too far from the range. Uh-oh. I gotta see if I can try to jump up the air here. There we go. Now we got that fourth and the last one. There we go. Uh-oh. Looks like Craven's crew interrupted one of the turbines. Better stop that right there. Now, the drones introduced in this game, that's definitely something unique for Craven, because Craven never really used drones. He mostly did his hunts on his own and everything, and did his... by his wits and instincts and his experience of hunting. And then he involved with having his family, mostly his daughter, after he... After the arc, I believe, was called the Hunt Revival or something like that, where his family revived him and one of her, one of his children. It resulted in Spider-Man almost actually crossing the line. But thanks to the new Madam Web, she stopped him from doing that. So he let Craven and his family leave New York. Told him to never come back, which we both know that was never going to happen. The result of it on that one was that 
it caused him to kill his el his son that was revived and then actually killed his wife and then he ch had his other son and daughter face each other to be his like successful part oh uh, looks like we're gonna now we're just gonna do this marco here okay <laughs> That is really a good ability, honestly. I honestly feel like that's kind of a broken ability right there, where you can just go flying uh, like a drill-like attack that sends them all flying and almost can KO them instantly. But I'm pretty sure as the story progresses, they get tougher as they go, so I doubt it's like a one-shot anymore. That takes care of all of them. Let's go smash this crystal here. Crystal time. I find them, and they're waiting for me with all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? The hunters were after him. No wonder he got scared. Craven's tech is no joke. Now another thing about Craven is that Craven was mostly always about his techniques, his experience and everything. Which and then when they introduced this one where he's uh his crew is more tech savvy than like But Craven seems to not use the tech at all. He does his own way of fighting, you know, like with his knife. And as you saw, he took a stab from Scorpion and he didn't even feel it. He just simply just destroy, cut the stinger off, and then used it on Scorpion himself and died. Spider-Man, thank you for coming. I'm looking for my grandpa Earl. He kept talking about meeting someone here, and now he's gone. And can you please help me find him? Any clues on where he might be? Just this picture. He was staring at it all morning. Oh, this looks familiar. Some kind of exhibit. Looks like this was taken 60 years ago. Around the same time of year, too. I'll find him. Don't worry. Please hurry. He gets confused, and I just don't want him to get scared or hurt. Or... Looks like it's part of the zoo. What's interesting about New York is they have a really interesting like zoo, kind of too. Well, it looks like a zoo, but it might not be. Oh, this is the place we were just at with uh, Cat and them. Now, let's see if we can track this spot that seems to be around here. No, not here. Maybe it's over here. No, not, maybe it's right here. It's maybe something that he put on there. I wouldn't know. I'd be surprised if he did, though. That looks like something you shouldn't legally do. Mm, no. Not, oh, wait. Is it over there? Let's take a look here. Seems. I, don't, I thought it was by these two cops here. Oh, it's something right there. Okay. There we go. It looks like it's a. Oh, the flower. Is that his note? And then there's a note. Yep. Addressed to the man himself. And he addressed it to himself. Interesting. Mm, that's one heck of a story. I found a note addressed a letter he wrote to himself. Something about a botanical garden. My grandparents used to take weekend walks through the botanical gardens. That has to be where he is. So now he's at the garden, so let's go find him. I'm kind of glad that Insomniac actually stuck with the the white emblem for the suit. To give him a, a, their own unique way of their Spider-Man. In which he has have appeared in the comics in a Spider-Verse of it. And also, he was in the new Spider-Verse movie as well. They even gave him his own comics too for a couple... Like a situation... Oh, looks like we gotta do another... Oh my god, that is a lot. 
Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to solve this. Take our time with this. Let's start. Uh-oh. Looks like I got a little too antsy there. Let's try this again. Uh, let's try this way. Okay, that worked. Now let's keep moving here. Let's try here. No, that didn't work. So let's try this. There we go. Looks like we still got to do the ones where we got to get the red spikes. Oh, crap. I accidentally hit the square button there. <laughs> oh, that's a goof my part. My bad. But no, I like this idea what they're doing here with this to give us a little science to it of him because he's always fascinated with science and solving problems with his brain than really with his bronze. And also it's like a puzzling challenge. Now that we solved it, we can isolate it. But I found his inhaler and was able to science my way into creating a trail I can follow. I'll let you know when I find him. Oh no, really? Please hurry. He needs that thing like he needs lungs. <sighs> Lately, I've been so busy. Sometimes taking care of him felt like a thing I had to do. But the thought of losing him... All I want is to sit with him. What's wrong with me? Don't be so hard on yourself. It's hard to balance your own personal life with other responsibilities. Believe me, I know. We all do what we can. Okay, this is a lot further than I thought, so we're gonna just web swing this here. <laughs> now, this old guy can walk. I <laughs> just love the tricks he does there in the air. And it looks like it. Oh, there he is. I'll sit with him until you get here. All right, let's sit with him. Sir, Spider-Man. Whatever you think I did, I didn't. <laughs> Your granddaughter asked me to find you. Granddaughter. Oh. Huh. Well, tell her I'll be back in a minute. I proposed to my wife here, right here, where we sit. Wow, really? I have to ask. How do you propose? First off, we had to go to the zoo. Never met a soul who loved animals more than that woman. I was terrified. I meant to ask her at the meerkats. <laughs> she said they reminded her of me. But my knees were knocking, man. I couldn't see straight. We left the zoo and just kept walking. Ended up here. She... If you saw her, man, just perfect, but clumsy. Nearly fell into that pond there, <laughs> face first. You ever been in love, Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah, I have. It's beautiful. Nothing more beautiful. Can I tell you something, Spider-Man? I know I'm faded. It's scary as hell. Thought I'd be ready, but nothing gets you ready. Nothing. When I'm here, it's like she is too. Like I'm living it all over again. All nervous and sweating and whatnot. Then I look into her eyes and it's like I'm home. I was so nervous that day, Spider-Man. Almost didn't even ask. It's like I blinked. And she's gone. I'm sorry. You said my granddaughter was looking for me? Let's go see her. I should have guessed you'd come here. Sorry we lost track of each other. It was my fault for wandering off. But Spider-Man took good care of me. Had a nice chat about your grandma. Oh, yeah? She used to love this spot, huh? I feel like I spent every weekend here with her, feeding the ducks. <sighs> well, that was a good 
mission right there. Well, thanks for watching videos, uh, for watching this. Uh, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, and I will post a new video here as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.